As school systems continue to evolve, we've seen a growing number of classes and curriculum designed around technology education. For the past three years, Silver Lake Regional High School in Kingston has boasted a very strong program in that department. PCM would met up with one of their instructors to get some inside information on this growing educational trend. Technology education is providing students with a intuitive problem-solving education um, that allows them to think through the way we use, see, and manage technology in our everyday life. So the goal here is to make a makerspace. And what a makerspace is, is essentially a place where anyone can come and build whatever they dream of. Um, whether that's a high-functioning computer or a desk. And so we've got two parts to our space, essentially. We've got like that, that kind of classic build it, think it, do it type space. So it's got the table saw, radial arm saws, band saws, whatever you need to produce something out of a, out of a material. Then on the other side, we have more of a uh, graphics communications and multimedia lab for digital productions, uh, TV and video. We've got a brand new 3D printer for uh, three-dimensional design and production. We've got a laser engraver, um, which you design something and it, and it burns it out. Um, so some pretty cool things of high functioning technology, but then also some old school technology to mix it in so you can dream and then you can build. Kids use a program called Inventor to design an object three dimensionally and then we use the 3D printer to actually print it out. So you can make and invent your own toy on the computer and then print it and make it tangible. And it's actually you know, physically built and, and three dimensional. So we have a classic wood shop feel even though we, we, we incorporate modern technology into it. And the goal with that is, is every student needs to know how to problem solve and how to work with their hands, because eventually they're going to be living on their own or they're going to be working on their own. And we can't necessarily teach what tomorrow's technology is, but what we can do is provide you with the skills to learn how to use the technology. The end result for my courses is to provide kids with a direction. You know, there's some kids who, you know, College engineering, that's where they should be. So we have a, a FIRST Robotics Club where we're building full-scale robots that play sports. And some kids get really into that and really invested and they understand, you know what, engineering is where I need to be. But then we've also got some kids who come through and maybe they understand that, you know what, college might not be what's for me, but the career and technical field is. And that's totally great and you're going to do well in it. Um, and so I just encourage uh, kids to find the niche that they belong in.